guys, let me tell you about Marshall Rogan Anu. MRI, for any of you crypto enthusiasts, go look up MRI. I did it through MetaMask, but here's the deal. It's a project, and it sets out to help fighters. Now, how do you say it? Is it meme? Is it meme? A meme, you know, M-E-M-E, -M -E, is, that, is that called a, a meme coin? Meant to be fun and is usually about animals. Shibu and Elon Musk and, right, I mean, just by example, but they're out there, and Marshall Rogan is apparently the name of Joe Rogan's dog. So you get these guys that are experts in crypto, in software, in writing these kinds of scripts, and they go after Joe Rogan's dog to get attention, but they had a deeper meaning. And the deeper meaning behind this project was specifically around helping people in the MMA community. Now, I'm going to throw you some, some UFC fighters' names, but this goes over to Bellator, this goes over to Brave, this goes over to 1FC. It's just the community as a whole, not specifically a brand, but they're helping athletes. Now, there's a guy I've known for a period of time named Ian Heinish. I know Ian at a distance. I've never met him or worked out or hung out together, but our community's small. I've been within 10 feet of him for a number of years. I've watched him do his work. I had my own teammate, Kelvin Gaslam, getting ready for him. So I'm studying Heinish. I feel like it's a, I feel like he's a friend. Ian Heinish had a medical issue. He made this public. I'm not speaking out of school. He had a medical issue. He had to leave the country. I believe he went to Mexico to get this procedure done. And then he's got to fund the whole thing. So this group at, at uh, Marshall Rogan Anu finds out about this contact him, simple voice over the phone. They're never going to be thanked. They're never going to get credit. They're not looking for it. They have a fund set up and they're going to cover the expense for Ian Heinish. Now, you guys know Ian as well. Has anybody ever been nice to him? Has anybody done anything nice? To you guys had a hard go. It's been a very, very rough go. And when things finally worked themselves out and he was his success story, he's getting locked in a cage on Saturday night, half naked against another trained killer. I mean, right, that's a hard life he's had. So somebody goes out and reaches out for him. Imagine what that meant to him. So now it's one of the peers from my community. Imagine what it meant to me. It meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to me to know that they looked after Ian. They got him a medical procedure. Okay. Then there was some fighter that's telling a story and he just can't get from A to Z. He just simply doesn't have reliable transportation got a house over here. He's got a gym over here. He's got a job over here. He just simply can't get to the three and he's doing the best that he can. And he's hitchhiking and he's running and he's pedaling a bicycle. They find out about it. They bought him a car. I realize that's going to create some levels of jealousy. You're going, why didn't I get my car? But it was exclusive to the MMA community. And every time these guys hear about some kind of a problem that can be solved through funding, they keep on stepping up. And I, I just want to bring it to you because I want to get them credit. Somebody here deserves to thank you. You got Cairo, you got Bryce, you got a whole community behind it. I don't even know what these guys look like. I don't know what state they're in. I don't know what country they're from. I don't know how to thank them. But they are owed a thank you. Then they got to get, so every transaction that MRI does, and I'm trying to skip over some of the logistics of it, because this is a foreign language. If you don't understand crypto, you're not going to, the foggiest idea what comes out of my mouth. Do you know what a transaction is? A financial transaction. A piece of that, cents, pennies, goes into a fund. Well, that fund over a period of time grows very nicely. And now they're getting to the point where for each fight, each mega event that happens, again, whether it's Bellator, 1FC, UFC, which is coming up this weekend, Masvidal Covington, they are then electing through their community through another app called Telegram, where you can go in there and you can vote and they're giving a fighter of the night. Bobby Green shouted them out over the weekend just to bring a name to you that you guys will know. Well, this is who he's thanking. MRI, Marshall Rogan, I knew this is who he's thanking, but I'm telling you why they're doing it. So they're doing a fighter of the night. Dana White will give 50 grand to each guy part of that match. Marshall Rogan, I knew will give 50 grand in total. So they split it 25 25. But a lot of these athletes don't even know who this is. They're not owed anything. They didn't have to do anything for it. There wasn't an agreement or you show up at an appearance or you lend your names. There was nothing like that. Hey, here's who we are. You won. Download this app. I'm going to send you your money, which happens to be $25,000. It's, it's this incredible thing. It's done out of generosity. And again, I don't want to lose you guys by making you think that these famous guys that are already on TV are getting more money. There, there's more to the MMA side of things. It's very hard to do. All amateur sports survive on this. If you have any world and or Olympic dreams, you have people behind you that are helping you to do it. There's only so many hours in the day and there's only so much energy there is. And people don't like to talk about it because it sounds very tough. You're not asking somebody for help, particularly financially, right? People have an ego. They have their pride. But these guys are taking all the embarrassment out of it. You haven't even heard of this until I'm telling you. And I'm only telling you about 
Marshall Rogan, and somebody needs to thank them. And it's very interesting within this space of MMA. I've been in it as long as as long as anybody. I date back to 1997 for my first fight, but I date back all the way to 1993 as a fan and a viewer. And the better you do and the more notoriety you get doesn't introduce you to a higher level of people. You get introduced to a higher level of scumbag. Leeches that are coming in and they will promise you the moon and they do not come through with it. You do your end of it. They don't come through on their end. They're a voice over the phone. They're hidden. They disconnect. You're, you never hear from them again. It happens all the time. But I can tell you countless stories. You're probably thinking MMA fighters, that's the last guy I would cross. Well, it's the first guy that these scumbags like to go after. So you have somebody like Marshall Rogan Anu who comes out making very big claims. We're going to help Ian Heinish, who we don't even know, get a medical procedure in a different country. We're going to help some fighter that's stuck in reliable transportation, getting from home to work to the gym. We're going to get him a vehicle, a good opera. It was a used vehicle. It was a Jeep. I've seen it. It was wonderful. He could get his family in it. We're going to pick fighters of the night, and we're going to randomly send them money. These are big claims. And the only reason I'm talking about them now is because they're three weeks in. They've done it all. There's over a million dollars verified through social media to people that these guys do not know that are from our community who've been helped. That's a pretty cool thing. It's a pretty cool thing to be part of. I have no better point here. I can't tell you where to send a card. I can't tell you who to pat on the back and say thanks to. But there's a group, Marshall Rogan, they're owed something. I'm giving them the only thing that I can which is recognition and a simple thanks. 